So it is 6.45. Uh, we've just got the email from our PR team uh, that we are in the Evening Standard this afternoon. Uh, so just gonna pop out and see if I can find one of the papers. Let's see how we get on. What's up vlog? Today it's been almost two months of lockdown in the UK and this week not a lot of stuff was going on. We just kept selling and pushing and working really hard on the cleanup project. So I thought I would ask a few people of the team about how they feel with the best and the worst things about being in lockdown. The best thing about lockdown is being able to play PlayStation for four to six hours at a time and not feel guilty about it whatsoever. I have to stay in and play PlayStation. But also, it then also gives me the opportunity to continue staying in touch with my, my friends from home. It actually doesn't feel I've been separated from my social network. Also, the amount of general knowledge I've acquired from the countless quizzes that I've participated in over the last month or so. In terms of the worst things about lockdown, of course, the thing that, which is the top of everyone's list, the inability to, to go to the pub, which is a staple of British culture. And the sooner that comes back when it's safe to do so, the better. I've not been to the gym in three years, but I missed the gym. I wasn't yeah. going anyway, but... Now that this has all happened, I wish that I was. So from my point of view, I find the work from home life is actually quite good. I feel like you're able to start earlier in the day and you end up working later because you don't have the commute every day. But it does mean that you lack those kind of human uh, little nice things that you get to do when you're in the office, you know, making coffee with someone or going and having lunch with people as well. I, I, I just miss all of these, these little luxuries that we took for granted before. You know, just grabbing a whiteboard and going through an idea with someone. We just can't do that now. I've run into a couple of the, the team members who actually live quite close to me in the park, just completely by chance, which has been quite nice. But apart from that, I've like literally not seen anyone. So the best part in the lockdown uh, has been uh, the fact that I, I could focus a lot. So, you know, when you are in an office, you have many distractions. At home, you have the possibility to focus. But at home, the fridge is always the distraction for me. At the fridge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the worst part, probably the fact that you don't talk to colleagues. Like the social. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The, the fact that you don't have excuses to take breaks and even like uh, go for a walk sometime. We're going to have a beer once it's over. Yeah. yeah, yeah, very much looking for <laughs> The worst thing about lockdown so far, the lack of social contacts by a long way. I like to be with people and yeah, I would say that's that's been one of the trickiest things actually. You catch yourself like if there's a delivery or if you're out for a walk, sort of making making small talk with people from distance and it's uh <laughs> it's not really what London does. I think the best part has actually been taking a bit of time to like focus on yourself, pause and take stock of where you are. I think in, in the world these days, everyone's moving so quickly and actually it's quite a unique time to actually take a second to just just pause and, and evaluate evaluate things really so yeah i think it's been it gives you a bit of headspace to come up with cool new ideas and also like focus on yeah the stuff that's important you know like your health and all that sort of stuff really i've, I've quite enjoyed that actually getting stuck into a few of those you know someone described it as like a, a 10 year to-do list which which i quite liked i'm just like there's always things that uh, sort of build up so that's been good yeah best and worst has, has been me trying to grow a beard which has been an experience <laughs> i didn't actually realize how itchy they get so and crazily out of control so that's been interesting but luckily not many people have seen it in person i think it actually looks better on camera so um yeah the low quality helps <laughs> yeah the low quality 48p pixelation helps a lot. <laughs> since lockdown i've kind of moved moved in with my dad again which has been you know, interesting. I haven't, haven't lived with him in a while, but it's actually been really good. So I think from the uh, being able to spend more time with your family, um, I've obviously been so busy with work that it's quite tough to, to spend a lot of time with your family. So this has been a good, you know, good part of this. Um, we've done a lot of, a lot of fun things and, you know, watched a lot of old movies that we used to watch together. So that's been 
that's been fun worst part is yeah obviously the lack of you know seeing your friends and you know going out to places i, I had to cancel a lot of holidays i had a big trip to uh sri lanka planned which was going to be over the whole of april uh and that's you know that that's not happened so hopefully we i can do that maybe next year yeah.